When I opened the hatch, I saw the earth, and that earth was not simply the earth, it was my motherland, and I exclaimed, Oh, Kazakhstan, I tell you, there is a Balkhash. I was proud because at the same time I was the son of my earth, and I was soaring above my earth at a great height and saw all the wide spaces of my earth and represented my people. Into the long space trip he took a handful of Kazakhstan soil, the light blue flag with the golden sun on the wings of the eagle, the sacred Koran and the spirits of nomads. For almost a year he was flying over the earth at a space speed of 8 km per second and became a real nomad of the universe who told the whole world about his motherland, the Republic of Kazakhstan. In a house like this, which 60 years ago was considered the best at the cloth manufacture, that is in the village of Kargala, in the vicinity of Almaty, Talgat's parents, Faza Amangilde, Maza Saliha and his three elder brothers, Bolat, Marat and Murat lived once. Talgat Amangildievich came to greet the house together with his wife Victoria and elder grandson Talgat. <laughs> Apples like this I remember from about that age. I climbed trees and gathered them myself in this land. Sometimes I just want to sit down here in this land and near the house and spend some time remembering my parents, my parents' friends. Мне хочется иногда просто сесть одному в этом краю, рядом с домом посидеть, повспоминать. Speaking about my father, I should say that, of course, he had lived a very difficult life, a hard one, I would say. In 1937, his father, that is, my grandfather, Orontai, was taken away by the internal affairs bodies at night. According to what old men say, it was on the same night with Oraz Jandosov. But, however, father had lived his life with pride. He became a journalist, one of the first professional journalists of Kazakhstan of that time. In connection with the fact that he was the son of a public enemy, he was not going to have any advancement, either in his career or any other sphere of activity. He was an optimist and he gave me, for example, that willingness to take sports and without noticing it himself, he made it so that I became a sportsman of a high level. The walls of this house remember many milestone events. For example, the fire that happened on the day of the boy's birth, the baby was taken out of the burning house at the last moment. As his mother Saliha understood later, it was no coincidence that fire, that special sign of danger and protection, accompanied her son from the first moments of life. That was Talgat's fiery spaceway. Mama прошла горнила войны. Mother went through the war. Her fate happened to be very dramatic because when she was very young and graduated from the medical institute with a degree in medicine, on the same day she was sent together with all the fellow students in heated freight cars to the Stalingrad front, where everything was being ground up. You know that many people died there and my mother believed that God supported her at the very beginning of her life and she received such a serious tempering for the life. My father's kindness, his optimism, his generous nature, my mother's strong will, sense of purpose, her warm-heartedness, I saw that all and wanted to be like them. Talgat was given his name by his uncle, Balshahan Rsaldin, who was a military pilot and a friend of the world-famous double hero of the Soviet Union, Talgat Bigildinov. That winged name became significant for the boy's life. He really became a pilot and later a double hero, the hero of Russia and the people's hero of Kazakhstan. Само это предопределило, мне кажется, вот, э, мою дальнейшую судьбу. 
From the childhood I wanted to be a pilot like our double hero of the Soviet Union, Talgat Bigeldinov. And later when I read the book Ill Planes Attack, it gave me the love of sky and planes and aviation. The persistence and the courage of the son always amazed the parents. When the boy learned the story of his name, he declared that he would become a pilot and nothing else. He saddled up his first horse, the tricycle, when he was three. One day Talgat disappeared. They found the boy only by night. He was driving his tricycle along the automobile road in the direction of Almata, and he had covered several kilometers already. Talgat was absolutely calm. I decided I should see that, and he walks in the city. Talgat crossed his first school threshold here in Kargala, and today again he couldn't walk past Pier School. My Kargala is my golden cradle. But the most important event in Talgat's life happened in a different school, already in Almata School number 58, where he studied for all the 10 years. It was on the 12th of April 1961. <laughs> В Советском Союзе выведен на орбиту вокруг Земли первый в мире космический корабль-спутник «Восток» с человеком на борту. Гражданин Союза Советских Социалистических Республик, летчик майор Гагарин Юрий Алексеевич. Тут вообще что-то случилось невероятное. Я помню, нас вывели всех на линейку. We all were suddenly gathered for the celebrity assembly. And they announced amazing news. The first Soviet person, Yuri Alexeyevich Gagarin, went to space. What happened then? The teachers could not manage the children who jumped and cried for joy. And looking into the sky, I also cried out. Talgat Musabayev in space. Before that day, I had had a firm belief that I would be a pilot. At that moment, I understood a cosmonaut. That was decided. The 12th of April, 1961, was the turning point. That light and comfortable feeling has been accompanying me throughout my whole life in Kazakhstan.
It was only after 12 years of work in the Burundi Air Group and later in the Kazakh Civil Aviation Authority that Talgat Musabayev received the certificate of a civil aviation pilot. That was how much time it required to become a professional pilot from an aviation engineer. However, he learned how to handle sporting airplanes very well and even became the champion of the USSR in aerobatics in 1983. The same year, together with the first triumph, a big loss came to Talgat's life. His father died of heart attack, not having driven the Volga car that was given to the sports pilot for the victory. Amangelde Orntaevich never found out if his younger son became a cosmonaut. Talgat's father was the main person who him entrusted with his secret. Together with him, as early as in 1981, they wrote the first application to the cosmonaut training center. In 1986, in summer, the young pilot was invited through the Komsomol Central Committee of Kazakhstan to an interview with the main person of the country, Din Muhammad Ahmedovich Kunayev. It turned out that in the Republic, as early as then, the selection of candidates to become cosmonauts out of Kazakh pilots took place. Thus, during one year, Talgat got not only the pilot certificate, but the real chance to become the first would-be Kazakh cosmonaut. That was a happy time. However, the political events in Almaty in December 1986 threw all the plans of Musabayev away for several years backwards. Talgat's personal opinion concerning the independence of Kazakh people cost him really dear. He was the first of the legal right to have flights on two 133 jet airliners and was reduced. Accusations of nationalism and proceedings started. Musabayev was allowed to fly only as a co-pilot on N2 airplanes. Talgat had to quiet from the Civil Aviation Authority. He returned to his Burundi Air Group and sat in the N2 as many years ago. From October 1990, Talgat started preparation at the Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City. Then the first and the only recruiting of civilian specialists for the Cosmonaut Group took place. And among them, there were six journalists, three doctors and one pilot. That was Musabayev. I was getting prepared very powerfully, understanding that I was not that young at the time in comparison with those people with whom I had come to the group with. I exerted every effort to catch up with and leave behind those ones who were in the front for a long time. Thus, having had an almost one year training and having quite good perspectives, I found out there already existed a candidate for the flight who was not in the group and who had not gone through the physical evaluation board. Five months prior to the flight, the USSR authorities decided to send a representative of Kazakh nationality. He was also a worthy person, the hero of the Soviet Union, test pilot Toktar Aubakirov. I accepted that the right way, and as everybody said, I backed up that flight powerfully and honestly. It seemed that somebody above I saw that was God created such obstacles for me on purpose and if I were a weakling I would have broken down and would have been unable to overcome them. If you decided to have it and you have the will and you were given the strength and they gave me enormous strength at that time you had to break through. The flight took place, everything was all right. For the people of Kazakhstan it was good. The historical record was out straight. But what was I to do with myself then? In the cosmonaut group they told me straight, that's all, you may go home. The whole program has been implemented and we do not need you anymore. That means so many years of preparation, going through tortures and trying to get into the group, going only through the physical evaluation boards for four years that turned me inside out, and all that was in vain. After my preparation for more than a year in the A group and receiving only excellent marks, I was told, now we do not need you. There, of course, Nursultan Abishevich Nazarbayev played his historical part in my life, in the life of our country and in the life of our flights. When Alexei Arhipovich Leonov said 
That's too bad for the guy, so much effort has been spent and he is so promising. Probably something can be done. The president asked, and what can be done? I was a civilian, I was from the civilian aviation. And there Leonov said, well, if only to draft him into the army. And it was done immediately. The president then wrote a letter to the Minister of Defense of the USSR, Dmitry Yazov, with a request to draft me into the army. And I was almost 40 by that time. Exactly at 40, I obtained the rank of mayor of the Soviet Union Air Force and entered the Gagarin Air Group where Gagarin was. I'm the only representative of my people who was in the group of cosmonauts named after Gagarin. Many years later Talgat understood that his destiny having given him the chart. In terms of becoming the first Kazakh cosmonaut gave him a much bigger opportunity to go to space not once and become a real professional. However, it seemed to have really been predetermined by God. My destiny is as follows. For some reason, before me obstacles are placed and I have to overcome them constantly. Maybe Allah gives this for me to be more tempered and for me to work more on my tough character and strong will that are the only condition for reaching higher goals. And finally, it has worked out if talking about my space destiny. On the 1st of July 1994, Nursultan Nazarbayev, President of the Republic of Kazakhstan, arrived at Baikonur. Yuri Malenchenko, who was 33, was appointed the pilot in command, and the flight engineer Talgat Musabayev was almost 44. The official status of the flight engineer of the 16th expedition to the Mir station, Talgat Musabayev, was the following. The citizen of the Republic of Kazakhstan, a lieutenant colonel of the armed forces of the Russian Federation. According to the rules, at least one member of the crew had to have been in the space. However, the system was broken and the guys understood that for them that was a serious test. That was also enormous responsibility for those who had taken that decision to send the novices into the flight. At the center head I was managing them then and I was sure that if Talgat carried out the flight, the flight would be carried out successfully, that is, at the highest possible level. Dota Camilla also remembers the first start of her father well. She was 12 then. Since that time she has been living in this legendary house of the first group of Soviet cosmonauts. Kamila Talgatovna has been working as a psychologist in the cosmonaut training center in Star City for six years already. I had a radio set this small. My father had just given it to me, and I was sitting quietly behind the sofa's back. I remember it very well, holding the radio set tightly and was listening to how the stages were going. I guess that was the brightest impression. I worried how everything would work out. Mother with Raya Viktorinka was also worried. That was the main things how they were entering the orbit. Then mother said that was finished, the stages were gone and everything was all right. They phoned from the flight control center and said that everything was fine. The space vehicle had entered to low Earth orbit and would be flying for two days before docking with the station. I remember that I burst out crying with relief because everything most dangerous was kind of over for me as a child. I simply love him for giving me birth, bringing me up, and putting into me what made me what I have become. Thanks to him, I have become what I am now. He taught me things of life. Maybe it is also due to him that I have become a good person. He always taught human decency. During the space expedition that was 126 days long, the crew of novices Malenchenke and Musabayev carried out two spacewalks with a total duration of 11 hours, 7 minutes and worked with the Russian cosmonauts Valery Polikov, Alexander Viktorenko, Yelena Kandakova and the German astronaut Ulf Merbold. That was when the famous loss of voltage at the station happened that took the cosmonauts five days to overcome. We were very well prepared. All the regimes had been practiced repeatedly. That is why it is always good that near you there is a person that has understanding and finishes up the chaos that has been started. I believe that these are his main qualities 
as of a professional. We cosmonauts with some experience are always worried for those who fly for the first time. Moreover, they were novices. We came as their replacement. For me it was the sixth flight and for the guys the first one. However, they managed that good. I saw them walking and thought that that was not the end of it. And it happened so. Talgat knew that his colleagues and the whole world would judge the Kazakh nation on the whole by his professional and human qualities. Having become a very good flight engineer, he successfully completed the Kazakhstan program of scientific experiments in orbit. He was lucky as the first cosmonaut of sovereign Kazakhstan to unfold our blue flag in space, to raise a handful of Kazakhstan soil and the sacred book of the Muslims, the Quran at the space gate. My dear family and fellow countrymen, I beg to report that the flight is going in a normal mode. We feel well. Even at the height of 420 kilometers, we feel the warmth of your hearts. Дорогой сынок, я очень рада видеть тебя живого, здорового. My dear son, I am very happy to see you safe and healthy. Stay well. Do not worry about us. We are fine, my dear. Live and be happy and do your work. Goodbye, my dear boy. Mother, do not cry. Talgat's mother, Salihah Hamidovna, happened to see only the first flight out of the three. She loved Talgat very much, became reconciled to the fact that he had become a pilot and evidently was proud of him when he became a cosmonaut. However, it happened so that she had never said it openly. Mother Saliha died in 1996 when she was 77. It was already after her death Talgat found the signature on the walls of the Reichstag which had been victoriously left there by the doctor of the medical and sanitary battalion Saliha Mindubayeva that had covered the distance from Stalingrad to Berlin. Talgat considers coming from space to the Earth as one of the happiest moments of his life. It is as if you are born anew. That is a feeling, joy, euphoria that cannot be compared to anything. The smell of the Mazelan and the faces of dear people. After all, three flights Musabayev was welcomed back from orbit by President Nazarbayev in person. According to Talgat's words, not a single president in the world has met cosmonauts on the spot of landing. Only Nursultan Nazarbayev. Первый гражданин независимой республики Казахстан совершил беспримерный полет в космос длительностью 127 суток. The first citizen of Kazakhstan carried out the unprecedented space flight for the duration of 127 days. The first Kazakh went into open space, performed a feat that nobody of our compatriots had made. We thank God, the spirits of our ancestors for having supported our incomparable Talgat Musabayev for the flight. And we greet him on his return to our Earth. Throughout the whole life Talgat has been carrying the feeling of gratitude to this great and wise person who has always supported him not only as a cosmonaut but as a patriot of Kazakhstan. If the president had not taken the most active part in our life, in the life of Tohtar, in my life, I can tell you 100% there would not have been the flight, neither mine nor Tohtar's. Simply physically, there would not be a single Kazakh in space up till this moment. That's why I, as well as you, believe that our president, Nursultan Abishevich, is a pioneer of Kazakhstan's space travel. Talgat carried out his second and third space flights at the International Crew Commander already. 
In January 1998, from the Baikonur to the Mir station, an international crew consisting of Commander Talgat Musabayev, flight engineer Nikolai Budarin, French cosmonaut researcher Leopold Ayertz blasted off. Musabayev and the Budarin spent two 108 days on orbit and performed five spacewalks for the total duration of 30 hours and 8 minutes. <laughs> During one of his spacewalks, when I was at one end of the station and Talgat was at the other one, the space switch supply got turned off by chance. There was silence on air. The center asked me what happened to Talgat. Talgat handled it quickly and well. He switched the toggles. I laughed and said that he seemed to be alive and moving. Generally speaking, all those five flights were very difficult, but very interesting. During one of those spacewalks, Talgat believed in God. During the moving from one construction to the other, the fastener got broken and the second fastener remained in his hand. The cosmonaut found himself in the uncontrolled flight, which was shocking. At that moment, some unknown force pushed him to the other handhold, and he managed to grab it. Having reached the space home successfully, for the first time in his life, Talgat addressed God with the words, Allahu Akbar. Talgat Musabayev performed his third space flight to the International Space Station as a commander of the Soyuz TM-32 launcher during the period from the 28th of April to the 6th of May 2001. The crew consisted of flight engineer Yuri Baturin and the world's first space tourist American multimillionaire Denis Tito. From that day, the era of space tourism has started. Talgat has many talents. Kazakhstan could have received a good sportsman, gymnast, a world champion, a wonderful singer, probably even an opera singer. And it has received a cosmonaut. He performed really well. His flights entered the history of the world space exploration. And he's a good cosmonaut. However, time to leave camps, but Talgat is a sort of person who sets new goals for himself. And one of those goals is to help his country in the creating of the space industry. I look at the way he works, and I could not call him an official. I would simply say that he is a statesman. Talgat Musabayev was lucky to have lived three happy lives that in total are equal one year on us. To be more exact, 341 days. Talgat calls his space life difficult but happy. But the main thing is that that got its actual implementation. Under the instruction of two presidents to develop Kazakhstan's space industry together with the Russia's one, he came back home to Kazakhstan in 15 years. Мне родина дала все, жизнь, здоровье. The motherland has given me everything, the life, the health, the knowledge, the spirit, everything. That's why I believe that I should give everything for the motherland. Serving as the head of the Kaskosmos, Talgat Musabayev realized clearly that space is not only dream of the humanity, but that is high politics which determines the international level and the prestige of any state. Now, when he is the head of Kazakhstan Space Agency, we see how hard he works together with Russia. For the last three years, the Kaskosmos has created six enterprises of the space section. In summer of 2010, in the capital of Kazakhstan, a new space sign appeared to celebrate the beginning of the construction of an assembly and testing complex for spacecrafts. That's being created together with Frenchmen. In future, the Kazakhstan National Space Center will be built here. This is actual implementation of the policy that the head of our state is conducting in terms of attracting foreign investment, creating high-technology productions, 
And these are not only good words and greetings, but real actions. We trust the Kaskosmos because it's headed by the person who monitored the Earth from orbit and knows how to walk. Musabayev is the holder of several mentalities, cultures, a real strategist and professional. It is due to the management of Talgata Mangildievich that we have faced significant changes for the three years and that we have really created a well-knit system including the strategic development plan. We have created a program for the space industry up 2020. That's thanks to the fact that the industry is headed by the experienced engineer, scientist, practical man, the cosmonaut who knows space issues from within. During the recent visit of the President of Kazakhstan to France, Talgat Musabayev made a report concerning the joint space projects of Kazakhstan and France to the head of state. The creation of two Earth remote sensing satellites of high and medium resolution and the creation of the assembly and the testing complex of spacecraft. This entire space complex will be situated in Astana on the area of 30 hectares. We must work on that. We will, Nursultan Abishevich. On the same day, a surprise awaited the head of Pekas Cosmos. This is a very important ceremony that we hold on behalf of the president of the country. Today I'm giving you the Legend of Honor. Дети говорят, что вот я, значит, до сих пор как бы в роли нахожусь командира. The children say that I still, as it were, play the part of the International Space Station commander and continue to keep watch. And all my children, grandchildren, wife are the crew members. They must carry out the tasks I give, share my opinion. However, everything is not that easy. The children are already independent grown-ups who have a higher education, a job, they are around children. In principle, he always gets what he wants. He wanted to become a pilot and he became a pilot. He wanted to become a cosmonaut and he became a cosmonaut. In spite of all the different cases that happened in the course of the life, it was very difficult, but he became a cosmonaut. It means he will manage this too. I wish he would realize what he plans to develop the space industry in Kazakhstan so that we would have our own satellites, our launches. Not so long ago, the family and friends of Talgat carried out the Kazakh ceremony Turan Jergiao Natu for him. They say that it must be necessarily carried out before a big anniversary or an event in life that symbolizes adoration and gratitude to the native land and to the ancestors. A time comes in the life of a person when he must give an account in a moral and spiritual sense. That's an account before the Muslim, the people, and of course before himself. And that must be done when you are still full of strengths and new plans. You cannot lose the right guide in this swiftly changing world. For Talgat Musabayev, this guide is defined by his destiny, Kazakhstan and space. Yes, that was my way. That was. That is and that will be my way. That is the goal of my life, to create the national space industry of our country. And we will do that together with you, my dear colleagues, and everybody who will help us.